Oh, you guys know the only thing I love more than the Spurs and anime is revisits. I absolutely love revisiting bad takes. I want some nasty. Are we having fun yet? All right. Big shout out to Pay Pay PJ. PJ Hoops here uh, for posting this. I came across it. I think that this is awesome. I don't think anybody tagged me in this one. I, I don't think I was tagged in this one. Let me see. Yeah, no, nobody, nobody tagged me in this one. All right, this, this is just me coming across it. So big shout out to PJ Hoops uh, for posting this. So he said, worst take in NBA history. I see a picture of Wimbanyama. I want to hear what this man had to say. What did you have to say about Wimbanyama? Good God. All right, well, should we speed it up? He probably talked pretty fast. He looks like he talks fast. Let's see. Yeah, I wouldn't draft them because I don't draft unicorns. They never pan out. I don't draft seven foot five inch guys to weigh a buck fifty. I don't do it. I right off the bat? Right off the bat? My God. What a what a idiot. As a basketball fan, I hope the kid pans out because there's nothing we all appreciate more than great basketball. But I but, think uh, we got to slow our roll a little bit on the fact that he's going to be this generational talent. You guys know better than I know. Uh, NBA dudes are men. And when you go to play oh, against no. NBA guys, it's different than any other league you're playing in. Oh, my gosh. I need someone. Okay. Let's like we, we this is what we need. Okay. We need Wimbanyama to take the Dame route. We need him to take the Damian Lillard route. Or better yet, he can take the Tony Parker route, right? Like Tony Parker was a rapper. Take the rapper route and put this at the beginning of your song. Like literally, this should be the intro. Because I don't draft unicorns. They never pan out. I don't just, draft seven just have like a sick beat. To weigh a buck 50. I don't getting draft. ready to As drop. As a basketball fan, I hope the kid pans out. And just go in. Dude, that would be so awesome. I need someone to do that. Or... I need someone to take this clip and then immediately do a Wimbanyama uh, highlight. Okay, if you do that, I will give you. I won't give you money, but I, I will. <laughs> I will praise you. I'll. I'll put it on on stream, dude. We, we will have to look at it. That this is bad. This is really bad. This is terrible. Um, but gosh, dude, it, it kind of reminds you of some of the narratives that were going on beforehand. I don't think anybody should have slowed their role if you were actually paying attention. Because I watch. I watched Wimby for a good year, at least a year straight before I knew the Spurs were even going to get him. Because let's be real, we were going through a rebuild. It wasn't that fun to watch. So sometimes I would literally skip out on some of the Spurs games and go watch some Wimby stuff or watch some Wimby content or watch uh, Wimby play. I know the times were always like way off. I hated it. I hated it, dude. Um, I think one game in particular had to wake up at like, I don't know, like six or, or six or something i don't know i don't know it, it's not fun i know people are like six isn't that early right hey it, six is pretty early to watch watch basketball okay you know you're not really in the basketball mood yet um but anyways so yeah I, th this is this is a terrible take if you were actually paying attention to wimby you wouldn't come away with this take or if you this is like somebody that you have to discredit pretty pretty quickly hold on let me let me see what because i saw something else under here okay Here's more. It just keeps getting worse. No, does it? Guys, go follow PJ Hoops on Twitter, please. Let's listen. I would not draft one, but Yamba. Oh, my God, it's the same guy. I recognize that voice. By the way, I would not draft one, but Yamba. First, I would take Scoot, but that's just me. Seven footers don't live long, you and I don't want no part of that. Oh, gosh. You, you guys remember, I don't know if you guys recall, do you remember when we actually went back and we looked at, because that, that was a narrative too. We went back and we looked at all of the seven footers um, in, the, in NBA history. And actually it's not as bad as people think, especially modern day uh, seven footers. It's, it's not as bad as you think. They, they actually did last or do last pretty pretty well. I, I think, I feel like on average before the 90s, I think we had them around 12 seasons 12 to 15 seasons something like that I, I don't know i don't i don't i don't recall exactly what it was but it wasn't as bad as we thought it was right so like this narrative in and of itself and this also speaks to you don't know wimby because you were not paying attention because Wimbanyama is very durable like the, the the way that he takes care of his body he's he's more flexible he's a literal alien it's ridiculous everyone says that and every year it's like oh you couldn't pass on that but now the guy's broken down and he's near death 
and you're like, why do we waste our pick on that guy when Scoot's become uh, an MVP? I don't trust seven footers there, Eddie. But Woo, that's bad. Ooh, that's bad. I wonder if he ever like came back and said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wimby. I'm sorry. This is the Carton show. FS1. So FS1 just has bad takes all the way around, right? Is that is that the is that what I'm gathering from this? They just all have bad takes. Uh, because Lord knows I no longer watch Skip Bayless uh, at all. Uh, I, I I enjoyed when him and Shannon were going back and forth. Never took any of their stuff serious, but it was at least fun. Uh, first take sucks. FS1 sucks. I don't know. All of it sucks. Undisputed is terrible. I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, well, Carton. Uh, Carton. Is that if that's how you uh, say it? You do not know what you're... Oh, Craig Carton. Yeah, you do not know what you're talking about, my, my sir. I don't know. Maybe his takes on other stuff is pretty good, but... Um, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, that's not his take. I'm trying to see if we got any other bad takes. Jalen Brunson will be the best player on the court for the series. 76ers versus Knicks. Um, I don't think that's a crazy take. That one ain't that bad. Let's see. Anthony Davis has to be a rock star every single game. If you don't get that, it's a wrap. Okay, so he literally only had a bad take when it came to the Spurs. I don't know. That's, that's typical, isn't it? Anyways, I will get with you guys later, man. Until next time. Bye, bye, bye.